Hey, how's it going, nice friend, people, viewers, whoever you may be. So awesome that you're watching this. Um, I haven't made a vlog in like two months, maybe since last time was uh, end of No Shave November, and I was like, hey, look at my beard, it's all nice and long. I've not shaved it at all. Um, it's cold, it's winter, I've never grown out my beard this much. So I figure I'll go ahead and see how it turns out. This is maybe five months growth and all that fun stuff. So I find it kind of interesting, kind of cool. Uh, and I, I'm thinking maybe it's going to start warming up in another month or two. And then I'm going to go ahead and chop it. I am kind of ready to chop it. So cool. And I was meaning to go ahead and uh, make a video marking 2013 like a lot of people seem to have done you know naming out goals plans resolutions for the year and i was gonna go ahead and put it up for my 2013 video you know like number count wise but at the time it was i was exhausted i was tired um and you know for the past two months i've been having to foot it everywhere because of car problems anyway so that's been really kicking my ass to, you know, okay, as well as like the main point that motivated me that I really want to do this video as well, not just to mention, you know, stuff, whatever, um, I finally picked up and gotten a hold of and am learning and working out all the kinks with, uh, getting videos done with Vegas Pro, um, the biggest thing I was looking forward to when picking it up was Batch Render. And, you know, whatever tweaks here and there I can work with. Um, but I am learning it, like I mentioned. Biggest disclaimer about this is a lot of my videos over the past couple weeks have turned out fucked up. Um, biggest noticeable issue right away. Video, audio, out of sync. This has affected about 100 videos. I don't know why I didn't see it before or even acknowledge it. I know I've watched, like, videos... And they were out of sync. And I don't even know why I didn't, like, pay it. I, I guess I wasn't paying attention. I got shitty awareness. Um, it, it's, uh, it's always been an issue. I don't know why. Anyway, um, you know, I, I, after I figured that out, the only thing I focused on sitting down and doing was making sure to work out that issue. The entire batch I've been working on, um past i don't know a few days whatever no past week um don't seem to have that issue at all no sync issue another issue i was having well i'm still learning my way around the program and i'm figuring out where everything can be found like options all little tweaks and stuff here and there um i was overlooking the option to turn it from a 16 by 9 video to a 4 by 3 and every well no 4 by 3 or 16 by 9 but uh, I wasn't paying attention, and a lot of videos I recorded as a 16x9 or a widescreen ended up being shitted out as a 4x3 instead of a 16x9 or just widescreen or whatever. So they ended up being crap, um, and that really ended up sucking a lot. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and leave this video up and, you know, t sort of mention or note that disclaimer. So if you end up watching that video, it's one of the videos from you know because it, it, these videos are going to be going up for a little bit anyway so it's affected maybe two three i don't know maybe four four walkthroughs probably i could be wrong maybe five or six um it really really caught me off guard i wasn't too happy about it but i'm pretty sure i figured out what it was and i've worked quickly to rectify it like i said i'm still learning my way around the program if I had somebody to talk to, you know, work out the little kinks here and there, that'd be great. Otherwise, I'm learning it all myself, whatever I can find about it, that's awesome. Um, and I'm trying to get the right thing, because, um, you know, I don't have a fast internet connection speed, so I'm kind of compressing shit enough. Like, when I was, I, I know it's wrong to compare, like, moldy-ass six-month-old six lemons to uh you know some golden apples you know because avs video editor for the most part uh, i didn't even touch its like preset settings for the video codec that i would render as and it would generally come out 
you know, five, six, it never really exceeded 700 megabit of a file, even for like 20, 20 minute videos. Um, and the only thing I really messed with was making sure that the audio was 320, uh, kilobit, whatever per second. And, you know, for the most part, the AVS video, uh, videos turned out not too bad at all. Um, quality could be a little better here and there for the most part. They do look pretty good. Um, Vegas, I'm trying to get the right little spot where it doesn't take too long to render the video. Cause like when I first started playing with Vegas, it would take like three hours to render a fucking 10 minute video. That's a bit excessive. Uh, you know, a gig and a half. Uh, for a, for a 10 minute video is a bit excessive. So, you know, I, I, I'm trying to fit it in with the range of the time and the file size. And for the most part, you know, it, I, I'm not sure. I'm mostly working with PSP stuff right now. I got the zoom all right. Um, so, like I said, I'm still working on stuff. Um, still making sure I got the right adjustments between quality where it also doesn't um get excessive with the time it takes to render and the time or the or the file size so still working that out i'm, I'm gonna be playing with kinks for a while i'm thinking maybe another month or two before i have everything solid where i'm completely happy with it and don't have to touch anything aside from hit buttons edit render upload and you know do the youtube type side type of stuff um so i, th I think that covers that Also, I'm not sure if you have noticed, maybe you have, maybe you have not, but, uh, I got a machine of partnership. Fuck yeah! Uh, that was one of my goals I set out to accomplish when I first started my channel. Um, I could have probably gotten a, sh a partnership a lot sooner. I know pretty much the sole requirement, aside from whatever little things here and there, is that you have original content. Not just, like, you can have, like, all the gameplay videos you want... But if you don't have original content, you're, you know, they, they need original content to put you through and all that good stuff. So pretty much like from the time I did unboxings or when I put up the computer repair video, I could have pretty much had a partnership back then. But either way, that's awesome. Glad to accomplish one of my goals. Um, and that just means I have several, many other goals to uh, work on, work towards and stuff so that's awesome all right another topic i wanted to try to cover was um you know recent projects upcoming projects uh stuff like that um you know i really do want to try to get on top of starting bringing new releases to my channel bringing shit more fresh so i end up playing a huge mix of like older stuff but i really don't have a whole lot of new stuff Especially now that I'm on PlayStation 3 and I can go ahead and play some newer stuff. So like for example, uh, Anarchy Reigns came out at the beginning of the year. Um, looks like it's a decent fun game. Um, what would have had me sold though is if it had a multiplayer co-op campaign. And it doesn't, it just has like a multiplayer competitive play. Um, it was easy budget title, 30 bucks. I was right up, I would have been able to get that, I think. Um, but, you know, I'm not in a rush to play it. It's not like a must play right at this moment. However, I wouldn't mind playing it at a later point. As well as, uh, Devil May Cry. I played the demo. It was pretty that a motherfucker. I wouldn't have mind playing it. Um, I think I would have had fun with it. I'm sure it's not a bad game. I hear very mixed reviews about it. However, I'm trying not to pay much attention. But again, it's not imperative I play it. It's not a must play right at the moment. However, I wouldn't mind playing it at a later point. Um, more of a recent release I was kind of caught off guard by. I wasn't really paying attention to was Nino Kuni. Um, and I've been a long time fan of Studio Ghibli and Hayao Miyazaki films. Uh, you know, great fucking stuff. I really do need to catch up on his more recent films. I didn't even realize I've been missing a lot of stuff since I haven't had Netflix. But, you know, I would really like to play that. But, you know, with, with how tight funds are right now, it, it's not really something I can do at the moment. Um, however, 
Again, I wouldn't mind getting on top of it at some point sooner or later. Sooner the better. Um, and then it's, I'm, I'm not sure what else I've missed. If I've forgotten about it, it must have been not too important. Um, but as far as upcoming projects go, I really, I, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get on top of God of War Ascension when it comes out. I'm not 100% certain. So far, what it looks like, I'll be able to get on top of it on or around release dates. So I'm very much looking forward to that. I had fun playing the uh, multiplayer Ascension beta. Um, and uh, I, th I think the single player um, demo is coming out later this month. I think. I'm not 100% certain. I'm pretty sure it's still it's already out there, but very limited uh, availability or something. I forget what what it, how to get a hold of it, but whatever. Um, so I re I'm really looking forward to that one. I'm hoping I'm able I'm able to get on top of that one, and then I can also continue the God of War series from there, since another since it's another interquel. Um, as well as another upcoming release after that would be I think uh. The month after that is maybe the month or two after. Anyway, The Last of Us. I'm really looking forward to that. I'm really hoping I can get on top of it. I'm not sure what's going to happen between then, now and then. But as far as I know, I'm going to go ahead and do my best to get on top of that on or around release date. But we'll see what happens by the time I get around to that anyway. So that's uh, other upcoming near future titles I'm very much looking forward to. We'll see what's happening when we get around to that point. Um, I'm not sure what else is happening after that. But, uh, you know, we'll figure it out when we get to that point. Alright, down to the last topic I want to cover. 2013. You know, plans, goals, ambitions, resolutions, all that good fun time stuff. So, alright, for the most part... Continuing to recover from all the shit that broke loose in 2011 for me wasn't fun. I'm not going to get into it here, but you know, that's always ongoing for the most part for the time being. And I hope to put it behind me sooner the better. Um, as far as YouTube stuff goes, you know, continuing to grow the channel and work on work towards goals I've set out since I began the channel. Uh, you know, more traffic, more views, more subscribers, all that good fun time stuff. Also working on uh, upping the quality, not just video quality, but also content quality. It's mostly based on little things I can learn here and there. There's like no big drastic changes for the time being until I meet some other goals. But otherwise, you know, that's, that's always ongoing. You always want to uh, focus on your quality when the opportunity arises, when you learn new things. Um... So, like I said, Vegas Pro was a good was a good jump. Getting this mic was a good jump as far as quality goes. Um, I want to do new releases this year. I'm looking forward to that. I'd really like to get that happening. Um, and we'll see what happens when we get around to it. As well as just trying new little uh, experimental things here and there every now and then to see if it'll go over well. Or if it'll be stupid and people won't like it. Like when I played with this mic, with the mic rack, and it had all, it had like 100 preset effects, which ranged from very subtle to highly extreme vocal changes, um, which it seemed very mixed. Although the biggest issue was if it was highly, very extremely, um, you know, some sort of extreme effect that people just did not like it. So I'm going to avoid that, but I'm still going to play with little subtle differences to have fun with it as uh, time goes on, uh, unless I start receiving complaints about that too. So uh, also I'm still on the lookout for uh, somebody to work with on this stuff, somebody to do some co-op commentary. Um, I think it would be a lot of fun. That's something I've really been wanting to work, to work on with somebody, but... It hasn't really been happening, but, you know, if something happens and as soon as the opportunity arises, I'm going to bring some co-op commentary, co-op gameplay to the channel. We'll see what happens, though. Um, another thing I mentioned in videos back, or maybe to a few people, I don't think I mentioned, I think I mentioned in some videos, and I actually covered this topic already once before, without getting too much into it, uh, 
like I said, I've grown out of RPGs, and then I quickly realized it's not that I've really grown out of RPGs. I just really haven't been in an environment that's conducive to playing an RPG. Because when you're playing an RPG, you want to get in the zone, you want to be comfortable and relaxed to be able to get into the mind state for an RPG. However, I don't really have a comfortable environment, which is just this bed that I sit on half the time, viewing the screen over here, and a very fucking uncomfortable chair that I'm sitting in right now. Um, and it's not very fucking comfortable at all. Um, so, for the most part, I'm trying to get back on RPGs. In fact, I'm not going to mention it here. Maybe it's already live or it's going to go live after this video goes up. But I am working on RPG. It's been fun. I knew I was going to have fun with it. It's a blast. It's pretty badass. Um, however, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to keep up that, that momentum as the channel progresses. But I want to try to get back more into RPGs because it's been years since I was really into them. Uh, otherwise, I think that covered all the topics that I wanted to cover. I do want to thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good fun time stuff. It's much appreciated. So, I hope to see you around. Peace.